happy Saturday. My name is Callie. This is Camille. And this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. On Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee, I just talk about different things going on, whatever I want to talk about, maybe give you guys a little tip for your practicing, and then I give you a little something to practice over the weekend. And I started this series back in March uh, when the pandemic kind of hit, and you know, it's been so much fun that I'm just gonna keep doing it. Now, I have some exciting news for you guys. Um, my channel actually just reached the 4,000 hour view time, which means my channel is now part of the YouTube Partner Program. Woohoo! Now that means that I can monetize my channel and I can start channel memberships if I want to. And there are a few other perks that I kind of have to research, but just wanted to share that with you guys and just, Thank you all so much. It really means a lot to know that you guys are watching my videos, sharing my videos, playing along with my videos, and, and downloading the stuff that I've been making. By the way, how did the August practice calendar go? If you guys did it and you found it helpful, leave a comment below and, and tell me how that went. I know it certainly helped me feel a little bit more in shape with my playing. Now next week, actually, as promised, I will be doing a live stream and it's a public live stream for everybody on my YouTube channel. In part, it's in part to just celebrate this milestone uh, for my channel and also in part to celebrate all of you guys for doing such a great job of practicing in August. And so bring your questions, let me know, you know, anything that's on your mind and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Now I will be prioritizing patron questions and I just posted a patron uh, post um, just a few days ago to start gathering questions from them. And once I've answered their questions, then I will get to everybody else's. So, you know, just come by with your clarinet and, and hang out and hopefully it'll be a good time for everybody. So the time is, um, uh, what is it? September 16th at 8 p.m. Um, just log into YouTube and my live stream will start going right at that time. Now, another cool thing that is happening, um, there's a podcast that started um, just recently during the pandemic called The Candid Clarinetist. And this podcast interviews various people in the clarinet music world and and it's super cool, very interesting, and they've actually asked me if I would like to be a guest for the podcast. So I'm actually going to be interviewed for that on Monday night, live on the Candid Clarinetist's Twitch channel. If you happen to miss it, it's totally cool. They're gonna put it up on their YouTube channel and on the podcast channel as well. So I will put links below if you guys are interested in that, but it should be a good time and I'm really excited. Um, I, I, from, from what I know, um, it's going to be an interview basically um, about my YouTube channel and content creation and entrepreneurship and things like that. So if that's something that interests you, um, be sure to tune in. I'm going to do my best to share as much information as I can, and I'm, I'm really actually quite excited about it. Now, over the past couple of weeks, you've probably noticed that I have not been posting as frequently, and part of the reason for that is I wanted to take some time to kind of regroup after the month of August doing a duet video every week and posting a um, clarinets, cats, and coffee video every week. It took a lot of time to edit and while it was well worth it, I want to just kind of regroup and figure out what I'm going to do going forward. Um, so um, I, I will continue to be posting on Saturday mornings and I'll post a couple of other videos during the week. Um, I have some ideas, um, so stay tuned for that. Um, it really just kind of depends on my schedule. But again, I'm just regrouping right now. So I have a few surprises actually planned for this fall and I hope to be able to launch them in October. So I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on with that. But in the meantime, I will definitely see you guys on Saturday mornings for clarinets, cats, and coffee for your weekly practice tip and, and music. Now today I'm actually going to give you guys a little etude by Close, and you know, I, 
I've just been feeling kind of, kind of angry, right? <laughs> the, uh, it seems like all within one weekend, it went from beautiful, sunny summer to gloomy, chilly fall, at least up here in Chicago right now. Now, I know in a couple weeks, it's gonna be like 90 degrees in September and it'll be weird and we'll be like, oh, it's supposed to be fall and crisp and cool. But you know, I'm, I'm ready for that to like happen now. I'm still not ready for it to get cool. Anyway, what does this have to do with this little etude? Well, agitato, which means agitatedly. <laughs> agitatedly, is that a word? Anyway, so it's a great one to just really practice going over the break. It's a really great one to practice getting your triplet subdivision to sound even. And it's a lot of legato playing. And as you know, I firmly believe in making sure legato is as as smooth and beautiful as possible and well supported as possible. And lately I've been thinking a lot about air and about air support. Okay, I basically spend all of my time thinking about those things. Um, another thing that may help for some of you guys who are going over the break, um, you wanna make sure that you're, you're supporting your air when you go over the break, but also when you come down from the break as well. And the best thing that I can kind of think of right now in, in just keeping the air well supported and, and moving rapidly is to imagine, oh, here it goes. I'm, I'm just wishing it was summer still, but just imagine that, you know, you get to the beach and you're like, oh, this is the first time I get to go swimming for the summer. And you have your beach ball and your floaties and you're like, oh, I'm going to blow these up. Unless you're in Chicago and you're not allowed to have those things. So if that's you, imagine like going to a pool or whatever and you have your floatings. Anyway, so you get your beach ball and you blow it up and you're trying to blow it up as fast as you can. When you're doing that, you're actually using air support. <sighs> And if you still don't understand where that comes from, take your hands and put them other, under your ribs kind of like this and pretend you're blowing up a pool floaty with really loud, windy air. <gasps> and you'll feel your core kind of flex a little bit. That's not tension. That's not pushing your air. That's, that's creating air support so the wind can come out as quickly as possible in a rapid way. So I would recommend when you're practicing this, Practice playing with noisy air, <sharp inhale> noisy, fast air, as if you're blowing up a pool floaty. And you know, the cool thing about the floaty thing is that it also can bring your corners in and help you not, not leak around the corners and bring, you know, all of the embouchure in where it's supposed to. So maybe think about that while you're trying this and, and see if that kind of helps get these legato passages to sound a little bit smoother. Now, that's pretty much all I have, so I'm going to go ahead and play this for you guys, and you know, if you want to play along, you can play it at whatever tempo I'm playing it at. I take agitato to mean a rather big, full sound and not necessarily crazy, super fast, so you know, you guys can practice this however you like. It certainly is a good exercise to practice hand and finger coordination, um, but for now, we're practicing the sound, we're practicing the legato, and we're taking a nice comfortable easy tempo so feel free to join in I'll put the tempo that I play it at above and you can slow it down or speed it up as you want but yeah I'm excited let's go <laughs> Alright guys, that was 
so good. I feel so much better already. You know, who cares? You know, I got all the frustration out that uh, this cold weather is coming. And you know, I think I'm ready to go take a nice little walk on this, this nice autumn feeling day. I know it's technically not summer, but get over it. It's, it's, it's like 60 degrees outside right now. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have fun practicing this over the weekend and I'll catch you next week for another episode of Clarinet's Cats and Coffee. Oh yeah. And don't forget about the live stream. Okay. So Wednesday, tune in for the live stream. It's a Q and A and I might even play something for you. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, have a great weekend and as always, happy practicing.